Good day, learners. I am Miss Jean Arcelia, your technology and livelihood education teacher in Cookie Ray 10. Tada! Let's explore vocational and lifelong lessons in today's episode. Are you ready? Let's have it. Okay, looking at this video clip, can you tell me what's the name of this dish? Hmm, why do you think people love to eat this? What makes this dish appetizing? Alright, we were going to find out the answers of all of these questions on the latter part of this lesson. Of course, I should let you be familiar first on the most learning essential competencies, and these are follows. First, we are going to classify stocks followed by the ingredients in preparing stocks. And lastly, we are going to talk about guidelines for preparing soups. And now, let's go on and find out what is the meaning of stocks. It is a flavorful liquid prepared by simmering meaty bones from meat or poultry, seafood and or vegetables in water, with aromatics until their flavor, aroma, color and body and nutritive value are extracted. Aside from that, you should also be aware that there are different French terms used for stocks. This includes fond, broth, bouillon, fumet, and nage. The term fond meaning base. Why? Because this fits the definition for this liquids because they are the foundation of many different food preparations. Since you are now familiar of what stock means in cooking, let's talk about its classification. Let us discuss them one by one. Let's start with the white stocks. It is made with white meat or beef, veal bones, chicken carcass, and aromatic vegetables. Second one, we have what we call brown stocks. It is made with beef, veal and poultry meat and bones the bones are roasted first until this becomes golden brown in color but of course not burned next we have fish stocks it is categorized separately from the other basic stocks why because it has limited usage the basis of the fish preparation is called fume or fond Lastly, we have the vegetable stocks. It is a neutral stock composed of vegetables and aromatic herbs, sautéed gently in butter, then cooked in the liquid. So those are all the classification of stocks. Alright, we are done with the classification of stocks. Now, let's dig deeper. How are we going to prepare stocks? Let me introduce to you the ingredients that we need to make this what you call flavorful liquid. For us to produce a quality stocks, we should have this very first ingredient, and this is called bones. The kinds of bones used determine the kind of stocks. This is where most of the flavor and body of stocks are derived from. Our second ingredient is called mirepoix. Okay, can you say that one more time? Mirepoix. Very good. The French term for the combination of coarsely chopped onions, carrots, and celery used to flavor stocks. So remember that that is called mirepoix. But you also have to remember that in making mirepoix, you have to use two parts of onions, one part celery, and one part of carrots. Now let's move on to the next ingredient, which is called the acid product. The question is, why do we need to use acid products in making stocks? Because this helps dissolve connective tissues and also extract flavor from the bones. Remember that. About the scraps and leftover, scraps may be used in stocks if they are still clear, still wholesome, and of course, appropriate to the stock being made okay let's have seasoning and spices these are very important remember this 
the substance is added to other foods to enhance its flavor and aroma is called seasoning and spices. Spices generally refer to any seasoning made from the other parts of the plant besides the leaf. And what includes this? We have roots, stem, bark, seeds, fruits, or even buds. What are the examples of this? We have cinnamon, paprika, cumin, saffron, and many more. Last but not the least, we have what we call bouquet garni. What is this bouquet garni? It is an assortment of fresh herbs and aromatic ingredients tied in a bundle with string so it can be removed easily from the stock. All right, I guess we are already in the preparation of our stocks, but we have to bear in mind some of the guidelines in the preparation of stocks. These are very important for us to produce quality products or quality stocks. First, follow the correct procedures for cooling and storing stocks. Next, we have to also follow the cooking time for stocks. Okay, this is very important. You have to remember all of this. If you are going to prepare white beef stock, this needs 8 to 10 hours of gently simmering and boiling our liquid. But if you're going to make white and brown veal game stocks, this requires 8 or 6 to 8 hours. For white poultry and game bird stocks, this needs 3 to 4 hours. But for fish stocks, this only needs 45 minutes to 1 hour. And for the last type of stock, which is the vegetable stock, this needs 45 minutes to 1 hour, depending on the specific ingredients used and, of course, the size and cut of the vegetable. Now, the third guideline is to start cooking with uh, start cooking the ingredients with cold water. Why? Because this promotes the extraction of protein. Next, number four, stocks are simmered gently. This should be small. There, there must be a small bubbles at the bottom, but not breaking at the surface. If a stock is boiled, it will be cloudy. Okay, remember that. And next, number five, we have salt is not usually added to stock. Why? As this causes it to become too salty, since most of the stocks are preserved to make soups and sauces. Lastly, meat is added to the stock before the vegetable. So these are all the guidelines that we need to remember for us to prepare quality stocks. And that is our lesson for today's episode. I hope you learned a lot. Always remember, at TLE, we keep on going beyond the traditional. Have a nice day. Thank you, students.